Hello folks, welcome back to another technology review. Today I have something very unique to show you today. This is a stereopticon, or a stereoscope. Now, this device was invented, it's a Victorian invention. So, the purpose of this device is to sort of simulate a three-dimensional image. Put it quite simply, it's essentially a it's essentially a Victorian virtual reality device. That's the best way I can really put it. So the idea is that you look through the eyepiece and you put an image in on the front slider here, and the idea is that it sort of projects because you can see these two lenses here are, it's hard to tell, but these two lenses are essentially out of focus. And the trick is, is that you can essentially, it will be, it will give off the impression that you're in the image, if that makes sense. Now, here is a stereo card slider. Um, you can see how one image, it might be hard to tell on camera, but one image is slightly out of focus, just slightly, not by much. Um, the idea is that you put the image on the card, and then the card is placed on this bracket. Just like that. And then you will look through the eyepiece, and then you will move the bracket forward to put it into focus and it will give off a sort of 3D effect. It's a very very interesting device. It's They were very popular in the Victorian era and they were popular I think in the 60s and the 50s as well. Now my particular device, see if I can show you, okay I'm using manual focus here, okay so you can see there it says April 20th, 1887. Now, my particular model is from the late 1800s, but you can get various ones uh, from the 60s are also very popular. In fact, I think ones from the 60s actually have, um, or not from the 60s, sorry, from the, you can get even modern ones, and the modern ones are brilliant because you can get like actual digital photographs, and you might even be able to get custom photographs. Um, obviously antique models will, you know, fetch a high price. I got mine for about 40 euros um, off eBay. But it's an absolutely fantastic piece. And what's great about them is that stereo cards... Now I have a, uh, I have a good bundle of them here. Stereo cards are generally quite cheap, actually. I got a bunch of these ones. I think these are from the 1930s, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least they smell like they're from the 1930s. All right, in all seriousness, there is actually, uh, there's one that has a date that's dated in 1936, but yeah, so, no, that doesn't. So, you can get various subjects here. I have a, a farming example here. There's some uh, sheep. Uh, I think these were taken in the US or something like that. Uh, you might be able to get historical events as well. Uh, that was very popular. A lot of postcards are also um, based in the stereo card format. There's a beautiful lake there. Um, and these stereo cards are super, super cheap as well, which is fantastic. Great for collectors, unless you're getting something specific. The tricky thing that I see a lot of people struggle with is actually getting the image into focus. Um, so. To get the image into focus, I kind of elaborated this at the start of the video, but it's hard to explain. You kind of just need to do it yourself to understand what I'm talking about, but you sort of need to cross your eyes and then focus on one side of the image and then slowly move forward, and the image will basically merge together. It's very hard to explain. You kind of just need to mess around with it. I know I had to mess around with it for a good while before I got it to work, but it's an absolutely fantastic piece. Actually, I wonder. 
Okay, no, I can't. I was going to try, like, get it into focus. I might be able to take an image and then just show you exact. Well, I can't really because the 3D effect is only in person. It's not like something I can show you uh, digitally. You kind of need to actually hold one of these yourself and play around with it to get exact an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but that's the sort of idea. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. It's an interesting little piece. It's actually the oldest, the oldest antique that I own. Um, it's very nice to own something for, that's this old. Um, and luckily they do stand the test of time. I mean, mine's wooden and it's in fairly good condition. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this bit of a strange, different video. I don't normally make... I, I mean, I have antiques, but I don't normally show off uh, these sort of things. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I suppose I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.